Have I unmuted everybody? Can people, I don't know. Does anyone have a question they would like to ask? You know, no matter what one tries to do in life, um, you know, whatever the goals are, and it really is important to have a vision, to have a goal, to have things that you work towards. But in working towards them, there are going to be many different kinds of experiences. And I think we have to truly accept this. And I always tell people if something very good happens, it's always followed by something negative. And if something negative happens, it's followed by something positive. You know, and we as human beings have to finally accept that this is the way life is and not feel kind of elated when all these positive and feel depressed when things are negative. Because ultimately it is our responsibility to build enough inner strength to where we, you know, literally can transform both the positive and the negative into just energy, to the energy of God. Because that's how higher energy manifests on the earth, positive and negative. So it's our job to build an inner life that is strong enough to stop complaining about the negative and to be able to understand that the positive is just another step on a ladder that gets us closer to our spiritual enlightenment. Both of them are just energy. And they're positive and negative only because we see them with our heads, in our brain, in our minds. And the mind sees everything as positive and negative, as duality. And I think without that kind of realization in ourselves, we always get trained by life because it's not very difficult to find negative things. It's really right on the surface of life. You know, positive things, you have to go a little bit deeper. So we identify with these things and they take our energy, they take our life away. But if we build an inner life that is strong enough to transform within ourselves, we can't do it in the external world, but within ourselves, positive and negative, everything represents an opportunity to grow. Everything represents an opportunity for us to get closer to our spiritual enlightenment. And I, to me, that's an incredible way to look at life, you know? Because then we don't get all wrapped up in, well, this is good and this is bad and I like, I don't like. And we can finally, you know, use everything as a teacher to remind us of what we have to do to grow. Because, you know, these things don't go away. They, you know, look, I've been doing this a lot longer than all of you probably together, you know. And I have positive and negative in my life. But over the years, I've learned how not to get wrapped up in that. I just, okay, whatever it is, you know, it's there for me to use to grow and have a spiritual life. And it certainly, arrive, you arrive at a place where you can live your life at peace with yourself. You really can without all the expectations about the way the world is supposed to be. You know, daily life should get rid of all expectations because you never know what's going to happen in 10 minutes. <laughs> and just to get peace inside, you can live with life 
life no longer intimidates you, threatens you, bothers you, you get strong enough to be able to accept the fact that there's going to be both positive and negative in life. I mean, I have this all the time. I mean, you know, look, I have to deal with so many people and I can't tell you what people bring to me. <laughs> I mean, really, the stuff that people bring and, you know, I mean, I, it's like, what? You know, I, you know, after so many years of doing it, you finally get, okay, that's what people have to work through and I'm not gonna allow this to disturb my inner life and my connection with God. Does anyone have a question they would like to ask? And I can't believe I'm the only one who goes through this. <laughs> I would think that this is a reality for just about everybody living on this planet. And most people, their whole lives are determined upon what happens in the external world. You know, and that's not a way to live because the external world is endless conflict. The internal world, the connection with God's spirit is where you finally can find inner peace because that gives you the strength not to be attached to all of the stuff that goes on in the world. including the people who are closest to us, you know? Does anyone have a question? Yes, I have a question. Yes. Um, most of the time I feel after the meditation... Uh, uh, the strength... Candice, you have to speak up. I can't, I can't hear you. Ah, yes. Uh, most of the time after the meditation i feel the a, a very strong energy but uh, the last time it was the the contrary the contrary, contrary. i feel so tired and uh, like uh, the, the energy uh, go i don't know where you mean i was today? very very but today now today i feel very uh, i feel uh, the, the the energy very strong again yeah. well it happens candace you know sometimes you know you're tired inside your work i mean this is not just meditating this is inner work you're really working on yourself and you can get tired i get tired i've been doing this straight for a year now it's seven of these classes a week i am tired you know mm -hmm. you get tired and then you know it rebuilds inside. And then, as you say, today, the class is very strong, you know? Yeah. It's never going to be the same. No two of these meditations are going to be the same. And if you feel tired, all right, I'm tired. I'll go lie down, I'll rest, I'll go to sleep, I'll do what I have to do. Mm -hmm. But don't, you know, don't get involved with why should I feel this? Why should I, you know, you're going to feel all kinds of stuff when you go inside yourself and work and all kinds of stuff comes up and it's gonna bring many different kinds of experiences. So I, you know, I understand because I, you know, I've been tired for 30 years. <laughs> I've been doing this a very long time and it's very difficult in a work you know, it's work that, you know, it's not really just meditation. You know, meditation is what you do to prepare yourself for what goes on in this class. Because this is really going inside and opening and plummeting the depths of yourself to the deepest levels of consciousness in a human being. That's not easy work. And I, and one should get tired, you know. And usually, I always tell people this, and it's true, on the other side of our tiredness, tiredness is usually just resistance. 
And when we get through the tiredness, you understand on the other side of it, there's always a major opening. There's always something extraordinary that happens. And I've learned this in my own life. When I feel tired, just saying, Stuart, this resistance, go a little deeper. I go a little deep and sudden things open that I never dreamed of will come. So, you know, it's how we use our experience and what we do with it that's really essential. You know, my teacher always used to tell me, you know, you can be tired on your own time. It's, you can't be tired on God's time. You sit and do, I can come to this class really tired and that by the time the class is three minutes into it, the whole energy is revitalized and so I come out of the class feeling like I'm 10 years younger, you know? So there's all kinds of ways of working with this. And I, 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 it's not something that should upset you. You know, it's just something that happens. You get tired. And you can't gauge this meditation on any individual class. What you have to look at is, what was I like a year ago? How much have I grown? in the last year. That's what you have to really look at. Not, I had a difficult class, my mind wouldn't shut up, my this, my emotions. Were, what was I like a year ago? What was I like six months ago? How far have I come? That's the real gauge of this meditation. Not every individual class. And if you look at it that way, then your heart opens and says, oh my God, look what's happened to my life. Look how different I am. Look how much I have grown in, in such a short time. And that really is the next step in your inner growth. Just the realization of all these things. Because I have so many, how come this class was so difficult? How come I can't get out of my head? I hear this all the time from people, you know? So I was just telling you that you got to work deeper on yourself. Sometimes all the garbage comes up, you know? And boy, those are classes. You know, you got to deal with these dragons inside yourself. I remember I was doing this meditation for maybe three months. And it was maybe a little bit more, maybe six months. And there was one entire week that after the meditation, I mean, I had so much poison inside that I had to go and throw up. I had to release that poison. And this went on for a week after every meditation class. And by the time I got through that, I was on a completely different level in my life. It gave me such a profound understanding of how much poison we have to release as people, how much is embedded inside us, you know, that we repress inside us that has to be released. And in that week, it came up, I'm, ah, I was, you know, I, I'd have to run to the toilet and throw up. And all of this poison came out of me, you know? Years of smoking dope, of, you know, drugs and, you know, all the stuff that I did when I was younger, you know? It's coming out. And under ordinary circumstances, it probably would have scared the hell out of me. But listening to my teacher and learning from him, I was able to accept this state of being and, and then allow myself to surrender all of that poison that was inside, physical poison, as well as, you know, mental and emotional poison. Comes up. So you can't gauge your growth by one class. You have to look back and say, what was I like a month ago, two months ago, a year ago? You know, how, what kind of centeredness do I have in myself, balance? How do I deal with my loved ones, the people in my life? You know, how do I deal with all the stuff that goes on in the world today? And that's a gauge. That'll give you a, a real 
focus about how far one comes when they do deep inner work, not each class, you know? Does anyone else have a question? They would like to ask. You know, as I announced before the class, I'll say it again, that on the 21st, it's a Monday, I'm gonna go away for a week. And uh, I won't be teaching, you know, then it'll resume when I get back you know, the following, probably the following, not the following, but two Tuesdays after I get back. And I, again, I'd like to thank you all. God bless you all. And I hope you're learning something profound from all of this and that it really is teaching you about things that you have to do in life. Patience more than anything. Patience that you have to have with yourself. You know, I have used to tell people, you know, it took you so long to get into this condition, it's not going to go away in two weeks. It takes patience, it takes time, it takes really working on yourself for these, all these things to begin to get focused and grounded inside and there's balance inside oneself. So again, bless you all and thank you and uh, I will see everybody on Tuesday. Have a wonderful evening and God bless you all. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you. Thank you.